Anand says, I had a bad breakup with my GF. It's been a year now and I've not been able to move on. The question is why? Why have you not been able to move on? Why? You're the one who decided not to move on, perhaps because you thought it's a sin if you move on. It's an indication that you disrespect the love that you had for your GF. It's, uh, you've turned it into a taboo to move on. So whatever your mind, your thoughts actually command you, when your mind commands you to do something or believe in something, you actually follow it. So change your mind. You want her, you don't want her. It's all in here. There is no mystical power that she has or the world has given you certain kind of a uh, mandate to be true and loyal to this relationship that you had because that is you. No, that is not you. That is your desire, your, your hormones, your belief that this you have to be loyal to death so you can then have respect for that love because basically you're just all infatuated with her and you probably still you know think that that was the right thing for you how could it be the right thing if she's left the right thing is when both sides want to be together if one or both or one decide doesn't want to be together anymore that's not a right thing that's a wrong thing now you just move on no sense grieving about it nobody has died everyone is healthy going about their business she chose that way you respect that but you respect yourself too you live your life be happy you're entitled to it you're not supposed to be just watching somebody else to be happy and thinking that by you being in that mode of, you know, sulking and sobbing, you're expressing your love and devotion. Why should you express your love and devotion to someone who doesn't do the same? Why? For what reason? Because you have a desire to be with her, to receive pleasure. Find somebody else that you receive pleasure from. Give your love to somebody else who deserves you because she reciprocates that loyalty and that love. I don't care what kind of relationship you guys had together, how long and how good and how loyal you were together, how loving you were together. That was then. This is now. The actuality is now. Whatever this is, that's how you behave accordingly. You can't say that she spits on me, she doesn't want me, she wants to go on with somebody else, she wants to have a different life, so that is her right. But yet, I want to be just, you know, have an illusion and perception and living my life as it is now with the idea of how it was then. So you've separated your mind because you're in then, and when you're in your memories, memory is the past, so you're in the past, so memory is then, so you're in the then, that's your mind. And as you know, your entity of us is made out of mind and the body. So now your mind is in the past, is in that illusion of when, how things were then, but your body is here. Your desires, your needs, your energy, everything is here in this moment, the present now. So you separated your mind and body, therefore you cannot have equilibrium. You cannot have balance. You cannot reach happiness because happiness is when there is a balance. And the balance is when the mind and body both are in the same place, same moment of life. In negotiating life and the challenges, and opportunities together. That's the total power of it. That is total manifestation of your power. But if you have your mind in the past, wishing how it was, thinking how it was, loyal to what 
is no longer loyal to you, then you are in a different time. So your mind is not in present, but your body is, but mind and body is now separated, therefore you're just walking off balance, living off balance, and unable to actually bring what you're here in this earth to accomplish and bring to yourself, which is accomplishments, advancement, development, happiness, hope, and then lead that and extend that to your friends and family and so on. And soon enough, you become someone who's looked upon as a loser. A loser is not when you don't have something. Loser is not when you lose a game. Loser is not when you don't win a game. Loser is where your mind thinks you're not good enough. And that should never happen. Why? Because every one of us, one of us is blessed and good enough. Why? Because we end up to be in this earth, in this life. We're chosen to be in this life. How we're chosen? Well, every time your mom and dad, uh, you know, uh, tried to have fun, it was over 300 million sperms that were produced. Out of that 300 million, only one, only one could have, could have had the opportunity to succeed and connect in the ovum, with the ovaries, and be born. You were that powerful one. You won to begin with. You decide, it was decided that you are the winner, and you prevailed. And out of that 300 million that was sacrificed, you were the only one, powerful enough, strong enough, lucky enough, that was born. So, you are the chosen one. And you are going to fuck it all up for a piece of someone who doesn't want you. Is that the kind of respect you have for the gift of life that has been given to you? Out of that 300 million, you were the champion and you will lie down and give your life and your happiness and the future that you can create to what? Some perception that how it was in the past and you want to still live in it. For what? For someone who doesn't want you? That's the respect you have for your life? For the opportunity that you have here to make a difference in this life? So, get up. Get up and change your mind. You liked her. She doesn't like you anymore, so you don't like her. You like yourself. That's the end of that. Simple as that.